Right, we'll go. Right, pipe fly. All this is, right, it's just that, Gus and Glint, Bogdale. We'll put a laser dub head on as well. So, yellow and green. Laser dub. Put a bit of orange in as well. So, same as normal. Super good to start with. Clear nylon thread. And catch your thread on. Just it's the same as normal, just bring it back to the bend. And a bit of bucktail. So because this one, first one's going in, you don't want it to flare, so you take it from the tip of the bucktail. You don't need a lot. Just enough. This is just going to create your... I mean, I was on about that cage thing. Mm -hmm. Your cage. So I've got some going. Yellow. Maybe we're on about uh, how much you need. Mm -hmm. Don't need a lot. That much, maybe. There's not a lot there. So all you do is just tape it in your hands. Drag your tips out. And tie it in. So you've got one third sticking out the back and two thirds out the front. Just wrapping your thread forward. And then just fold this back. That just creates your taper at that side. Just wind over it. Tidy and run up. Alright. All looking alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now you need to get a bit of other bit of bucktail. It's the same again, you're gonna pick your bucktail from the top <coughs> because down here it's a lot there's a lot it's a lot hollower so it flares. You don't want this bit to flare. Right. So we're gonna go pick it from the top the tip of the bucktail, it's finer. Right, just pick what you want. A bit more this time, get rid of all the fluff. And then you're going to tie it the same length as what was there. <coughs> the bottom bit. Just get rid of those bits. And you're going to catch it in and going to roll it around the hook. So you tie it in at 40, put it in at 45 degrees. And just shove, push it right round your thread. And that's, that's you in as a cage. Just, I turn these bits uneven. And they tie down easier. Make sure you've caught everything. Just tie these up, don't it? If you need any more, like I've missed a bit here. Mm -hmm. You just take another bit. And don't bother rolling it around. But just get it in on the side. Just to make sure your bucktail is right round your... It's right round the... The material, the tail, and it won't wrap. And you've got that. Just wet finish. And varnish. It's your tail on. So you've got your taper obviously from the, the bottom to the top. Taper, oh, it's because you tied it in like one third and mm -hmm. two thirds, so that's make your taper. So, your front bit, you're going to make your taper the other way with the front. So, so we're going the front bit. Thread on again. Bring it back about 8mm from the height. I'm going to blend some here. So when you're blending it, 
was are you trying to get this, the buck tail from the same part of the tails? Mm -hmm. This one's a, quite a wire one, so. Stack it. You take your two different types of bucktail and get rid of all the rubbish. Just stack them on top of each other. And just blend it in your hands. The easiest way to do this is to hold it by the tips and just twirl it and comb it. And it will blend its way through each other. And just trim off the tags and it squares it up. Right. You're going to reverse tie it. Turn it around, catch it in, make sure you go you push it so it goes all the way around the hook. Catch it in, see it's all the way around. Mm -hmm. Just turn the tags off. Dabber, let's end this now. Bit of dab of varnish to hold it up and tie it ever and down, tidying up as you go. Right, fold it back, just literally split it. And when, you, when you're <laughs> at this stage, bring your thread right on the shank and then over because if you just go over it, it just goes mm -hmm. over the top of the bucktails. And then just build your little dam or moat wedge whatever you want to call it and that just holds it back to whatever angle you want i like mine about 45 degrees see you have it a bit obviously that looks really wide just now mm -hmm. but if you tie it back so it's like there by the time you put everyone else on mm -hmm. the fly smaller but if you have it out to that distance by the time you tie it fold it back it pushes it down anyway mm -hmm. and it keeps your bulk so Right, I'm going to go for some all in the back. It's exactly the same, don't need a lot. Right, same again. Tape it in your hands. If you pull it out, I just stack it back on top again. Just saves wasting it. Right, so this one. Obviously, you've done your taper on your bottom with the bottom one. Mm -hmm. So this one, you want to create your taper on the top. So you have it in line with the bottom one, if you know what I mean. So, mm -hmm. And just, when you tie this down, I just do a couple of loose wraps. And then I just spread it around the hook. And then, when you with this bit, you just split it and pull it around the sides. So you're not actually covering the bottom. The underside of the hook because when you look at it from that way you're like from there around because mm -hmm. I want to keep this bottom bit as clear as I can obviously for the gape the hook gape at this stage what I like to do get pens black you got pens well, you can buy sets of them, but dear's end the sets now. Mm -hmm. But to be honest, if, <coughs> I've been buying them individually. If you had like black, grey, red, orange, yep. your sound, you don't need a lot of pens. And when you're doing it, you're better off to hold it all together and just dab it on. Because when you draw on it, doesn't seem to work as good. So just dab it on. Make your whatever design you want. Whenever you're happy with it. So that's you've got your shape. It's tapered. It's mm -hmm. tapered at the bottom, it's tapered at the top. Mm -hmm. So that's you. <coughs> so now, with a mega laser dub, you bring your head, your, your thread right to the front. I'm just going to put a double varnish in there because we're at this stage. But it's soaking. So, obviously, 
we're going to go and we're orange in there as well. <coughs> so I'm going to put the, the yellow one first at the bottom and then the orange. I'm going to fold the back of the oranges underneath. And this, oh, you know, that was well used, but when I tie it in, I want my laser dub. You're going to lose length anyway when you comb it out. Mm -hmm. So that's about half an inch by the bend of the hook. And that's where you cut it. Because you'll lose a bit when combing it and you'll mm -hmm. lose a bit when you fold it over. So, two bits that length. Okay. <coughs> Rotate this over. Just when you're doing it, make sure it doesn't come round the eye. It doesn't twist round the shank. You put that in there, about orange. Don't need a lot of orange. I've been hacking at this all different ways. Get that bit in, right on top again. So that's when you fold it over. It'll be mm -hmm. underneath. Right, so that's you. The bottom in. <coughs> Top will go for the chartreuse collar. You want to put the same on the top you did in the bottom. So that's like three quarters of mm -hmm. a thing in. So we'll go for the same again, same type of length. Or find a decent bit of rubbish back over. So you get this in. Exactly the same reverse tire. Make sure you're no twisted round or in. And I don't bother trimming this off, those bits. I keep that because that acts as bulk as well. There's no need to trim it off. For all the weight you're saving by trimming mm -hmm. off, there's no point. Just straight in while we finish. And I'm going to get varnish in here again. Don't be shy with it. You want it to soak right in. Right. Now, well, how I work this bit is make sure my bobber holder's right. So, split this in half. Right? Because it goes either side of the hook. That'll go either side of the hook. That'll come back. Yep. Right? So, now we're a, bit, we're a bit far forward, so I've got, wherever I put it, my uh, fogley. fogley packer. Is that clear? Just whip, just whip your thread back on. Just pretty much half a dozen turns, and then uh, a wet finish. It just keeps puts a kink in it. And we'll also do it in here. I use some. I use some. Fine. Just put it around here. Just a little touch. Right, 
Right, Coleman. <coughs> right, Coleman. When I comb out, I've got it sitting like that, right? And all I do is I'm just start with the tips. I'm not really wanting that much bulk off it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just combing the tips out for a start. Right. And just work your way around. And then I start doing the sides. And you're just like combing the outside layer of it. You're not combing the whole thing right through. And you just want it all to blend together nicely. Just comb your way around. Right. So that, mm -hmm. see what I mean? See, I would just I comb the tips out and then I just like comb the thin the outside layer and it just kind of blends it all together. Just work your way around, just be gentle. And then that's that. Makes a nice shape. With hardly any bulk in there. Do my pen. I'll pen it again. This stuff takes pen awesome. So, just continue the lines round. Your shape. Eyes. Nice. Pack whatever you want. <coughs> I'm gonna go for all of this time. You find the glue though, that's the next problem. I did throw in a bag the other day. Glue, using. I gave you some of that stuff, didn't mm -hmm. I? So. So, directional eyes. You had these ones yet? Yep. So, get it whatever way you want it. Big dab of glue in the back. Just sink it wherever you want. Try and get it even on the other side. My eyes are always squint. <laughs> Every time. Cool. I'm sure your eyes are kind of the same. It's a bite for it. Awesome. It's a nice shape, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 